yeah, so when we're looking through the track list here, there's a lot of great tracks, a lot of great artists and musicians, and knowing that they're all personal from yourself and curated by yours. I don't want to highlight some of them here. And one of the ones I'm looking at is City Lights with a track called Now You've Gone Away. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't really aware of this until uh, obviously seeing this on your compilation. And this is the great thing about compilations, mind you, is that it always can put you onto things you're not quite aware of. But how did this one come about to you? Uh, yeah, um, that was WLRS. Like, it's a radio station in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I think it's Walrus Rock or something like that. Walrus Rock. Uh, I don't know, some sort of odd thing. Um, but these, this is uh, off a radio compilation. And um, if you're interested in that, I'm going to do a shameless plug there. I did do a Worldwide FM kind of special with Mark Taylor. Uh, on radio compilations probably because of this tune right. so radio compilations would be like local radio stations or state radio stations would go and find local bands mm -hmm. uh, in the area it might be like a battle of the bands kind of style thing where people would you know d different different kind of vibes but um, this one here was a radio compilation out of Kentucky um, first shown to me by Gary Johnson and Mark Taylor um, it's like a killer like, they're mostly like folk and rock so a lot of the tunes on these compilations are like pretty average mm. and then occasionally you'll get like usually on the sort of the ones that you'll be able to find with a bit of digging do have like you know the one tune on them kind of thing so yeah it's um this tune itself like like mental AOR jazz funk kind of almost like thrashy in a way like there's it's, yeah it's, it's crazy man um, like unbelievable solo in the middle of it um, yeah, like just an all-round wicked tune. That's like a local nightclub. It was so yeah. So City Lights were like uh, like a local nightclub um, on West Main Street. If you're impressed that I remember that, <laughs> um, and I found the license through like a Facebook group of like alumni, like the people who would have gone to that nightclub. So it's like a group of people were like sharing sort of stories and images and stuff. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I've got loads of pictures. There's there's some guy who's like uploading loads of like off the desk recordings, um, on SoundCloud, which are like there's like a 20 minute version of them doing Herbie Hancock's Comedian, and the drum solo is about eight minutes long. It's it's, what? it's crazy. Yeah, it's really good. Like, you know, there's so much info on this on this kind of nightclub and stuff, um, and it's a real shame that sort of only one of their released tunes is sort of any good really. Because they because they were doing obviously doing the nightclub band for like twelve years they must have written loads of other good tunes yeah mm. um, but yeah that's uh, it's it's a it's a really like really wicked kind of feeling to be able to find these people and I posted in there like all right I've uploaded it to YouTube um, there's the track by the way it's on this compilation and just all the comments on it are like is this Mary singing or is this you know something else and people are like so specific so it's quite cool to like you know be on the kind of inside of the kind of nightclub band vibe really like I like their uh, I like the fact it's still alive and people are still talking about it they obviously did something right yeah that's great man it's it's really nice to like give this music that that new life as well and all those people who supported and was around that time and it was very personal to them as well it just gives it that's that second wind as well to, to go through it's great yeah it's um like that that one as well there's a there's a bit of a bit of an odd story should we say um i at supermax when 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 me and justin were working at supermax that summer of i guess it was the summer of the pandemic so we, mm. we still had like the ability to you know turn the basement bar into a bit of a party in the summer when the kind of restrictions were lifted mm -hmm. um and um we would they would there was a bit of a, you know, should we say, uh, you know, a love for Old Forester whiskey. There was, basically, it was, it, it ended up with, like, Justin, like, I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying this on the record, like, drinking bottles of Old Forester whiskey with Elliot, um, me and him, like, crashing our bikes into each other, him <laughs> doing his classic, like, leaving his phone in taxis, like, he did that a few times within a few weeks. And, I mean, a few times, it was, like, three or four. Um, <laughs> it was all about Old Forester whiskey. It was, like, we'd just drink loads of Old Forester whiskey. I mean, I had some the other day. It was, like, that's the kind of vibe for Supermax. Um, but when I when I found this, this group on Facebook, and uh, I was, like, trying to do a bit of research in the group, like, does anyone have the address? Or does anyone, you know, is it on Google Maps? And so I found the address. It was 91 
don't don't quote me on this 91 west main street or something along those lines mm-hmm. maybe maybe a different number or a different kind of road but i typed in this address yeah into google maps and looked at the picture and it was old forester whiskey and it's the main distillery of old forester whiskey now so this building that was would have been knocked through they've put a massive still in it now and that's where they make old forester whiskey so all that whiskey i'd have been drinking that summer crashing my bike into justin you know and like doing all this stuff it was was created in the same walls as this this tune what are the chances of that there you go there you go what are so the chances every time i drink an old forest of whiskey now i think of city lights and and these people yeah also a big shout out to justin mr jamba ray um, dude, yeah he's the dude man he's the dude um we we're speaking to him at the weekend actually he has good great laughs he's a guy yeah 